Adriana, come on, pick up, pick up. You left here just two seconds ago. Adriana, hi, it's Kelly. I know you're busy, having a good time, but Cassie just called me and uh, told me that we should watch out for strangers. Uh, I know I'm sounding uh, paranoid. I'm just a little concerned since I just let you drive off with one. Ma'am, the doctor's waiting to check you for exposure. It's not necessary. I'm a medical doctor. It's... Please, cu cut me a break, guys. Give me a moment here, please. We'll be at the nurse's station. How's Jessica? Jessica's in surgery, fighting for her life. No thanks to you. I know what you've been told. I know that Charlie went to kill Mitch and may very well have ended up killing my daughter Jessica instead. She's young. She's strong. And he had help. Someone who put him up to this. And that was you, wasn't it, Dorian? Yes, it was me. But I had good reasons. Well, I, th I thought you said you were going to stay in the bedroom. And let someone get to hope. Are you kidding me? Who is it? It's me, Cole. It's Blair. Mom! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh my gosh. I just didn't want to wake the baby. It's 4 a.m. Yeah, I, you got to get your stuff. Come on. What? what? Get everything together and get Langston. We're going. You always have your reasons, don't you? Vicky, if you were in my position... Oh, I know your position, Dorian. Your position is selfish and unthinking. I am sorry about Jessica. Really? She's not just collateral damage to you? You just don't know. Th th there are reasons. Dorian, there always are with you, aren't there? So what was it this time? I mean, what were you after? Money or power or just hurting me again? None of this. None of it would have happened if it weren't for Mitch Lawrence. Do go on. You know what a monster that man is. Yes, I do. I did not know that he was also responsible for your actions. Yes, he is responsible. Mitch Lawrence is at the root of whatever happens to Jessica. And anybody else. Call to tell me that what you have done is Mitch Lawrence's fault? I'm not trying to absolve myself. Then take responsibility. There were dire underlying circumstances. Oh, I'll just bet there were. You were Mitch's pawn. Yes. You just did whatever he wanted you to do. He got you to set him free. You are responsible for all of this violence. I didn't intend this. Oh, God, Dorian, what were you thinking? What was he going to give you? What was he worth to you? My girls' lives. Star, I need you to grab that blanket for me. What are you doing? Just grab... All right, get the bottles. Would you get... Mom, get we're yet. not going anywhere. <laughs> Just do as I say, sweetheart. You can't tell me what to do. Yes, I can, because I'm your mother. You can't do this in my own home. Listen, your home is where Cole and Hope are, and we're going. And they're coming with us. Where, where, where are we going exactly? We're going to go to Todd's. What? What, are you back together with him? Please. Okay, then why? Because your father has security, that's why. So why do we need security? I can't explain everything to you. Just will you just do as I say and help me pack some stuff? And go to Dad's? Listen, your brother and your grandmother are already there, and tomorrow morning, sweetheart, we will wake up as one big happy family and we'll have uh, chocolate chip pancakes, because that's your Absolutely favorite. not. Excuse me. I am not taking my daughter out in the middle of the night without an explanation. Okay, the explanation is this. Everybody related to Dorian is in danger. You hear me? Ah! Mitch was behind bars. A life sentence seemed guaranteed. There are no guarantees with him. Of course.
course I, I, I should have known after what he did to Cassie and to you. And my children. To so many people. Dorian, why the hell would you think you were safe? I was desperate. So he came after you and you just made a deal with him. Oh, why else do you suppose I would have done the things that I did? Oh, oh, please, you don't want me to answer that. Mitch ordered me to fire Bo, to hire Lowell, or else my girls would pay the price. You let the whole town suffer. I was going to fix it. How? Would you think you'd suddenly be rid of him? I knew that in time, an opportunity would present itself. Yeah, that opportunity turned out to be Charlie, didn't it? He'd lost his son. He was losing himself. He was drowning in his grief. Mm -hmm. And you gave him a drink and a gun. I thought it might give him peace. No. You thought he was an easy mark. Look, I, 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 I was... <laughs> At my wit's end, the end of my rope, but it just, I, I, I didn't know what else to do. Vicky, I swear to you, if I could take it all back, I would. Too late. And yeah, I know that this is uh, the second message I've left you. Just call me when you get this, okay? Okay. Okay. I don't know what you're so worried about, Kramer, really. Adriana's just fine. You know, she's just not picking up her phone because she's having a good time with her cute Frenchman who might have been sent by Mitch Lawrence to kill her. Oh, my God, what did I do? What did I do? Uh, do I call Dorian? I don't know. If I tell Dorian that I let her go off with a strange man, she'll freak, and then she'll kill me. Okay, well, there's no reason. There's no reason to panic, Dorian, when I don't know anything, and I don't know anything. That guy couldn't possibly be working for Mitch. 